Hey, Joel with Inflatable Office here. I wanted to show you real quick how to set up linens in the software. So if we go to the linen category on your website, um, you'll see here I set up an example, square table linen, and you click on it. And from here, the customer will be able to choose the size they want, and then they'll have the option to choose the colors. And when they add it to the cart, it'll show the quantity and the price for that particular size and color combination. So um, setup wise, it can be a bit of work. So I wanted to walk you through the steps of it, but here's an overview of how it's set up. So we have two categories. We have a linens category and a hidden category. We create a, a main item that belongs to the linens category um, called square table linen. And then we have two regular items that belong to the hidden category and it specifies the size. And I have the names identical other than those, those uh, dimensions. And so it'll um, hide the, the duplicate text between them. So that's why it, how it shows up um, more concisely like that. All right, so those items are in the hidden category and they are accessories of this one. And then lastly, we have actual accessory items um, with the dimensions and the color on it and the size and the, or I'm sorry, the quantity and the price. And then those are um, linked up as accessories of the sizes. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these and we'll set them all up from scratch so you can see exactly how it was done. So I like to copy this, makes it a little easier. So we'll add a new item. So this is that main item here. We don't care about the quantity on this. We'll set it to linens, add, let's give it a picture. And then that's it, so you hit save. Now we're gonna make, um, close out here. We'll make those two sizes. So I'll say 90 inch, paste that in, Lim unlimited. And then these ones need to be in that hidden category. So we also don't wanna put a picture here because we want this size to be the thing that they see. And again, price doesn't matter. So I'll go ahead and save this. And then for the 54 inch, it's basically exactly the same other than that. And so now I'll just save copy. Okay, and so these need to be uh, linked to this one. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So you go into there, go to accessories, paste that in. We'll choose the 54 inch add and the 90. And then we also need to hit this show advanced options and mark it to show as a drop down. Good, and then the last piece here is we just need to add in the colors and then we need to link them. So I'm gonna add these ones as accessories. So we'll say 90, oops, 90 inch paste, and then we'll say red. Let's say we've got 10 of these. Let's hit add here and then let's do the color. And we also should probably set a price on these. So we'll just say $10 a day. Okay, so now I can also do, just make a copy of this one. If the price is the same, you can just save a copy and then link the price, but if they're different, that's where you, when you would have changed it. Okay, so now we got those two and, oh, no, I didn't do the blue one yet. Let's do the blue one. We'll save a copy. Oh, we, let's assume we got a different quantity here. Okay, so let's link those two. Blue and red and, and then we also need to mark it as a drop down. All right, then uh, the last thing we have to do is add uh, the 90 inch version of each um, and link those as well. And that's it for that example. So. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and just save a copy. And now we link those up. 
the same way. So yeah, as I said, it's um, a little tedious setting this up, um, but once you're done, um, it'll be a pretty good setup. It looks like I got two of these ones or something. Um, so anyway, it takes about a minute or two to sync over to your website. If you have a small inventory and you want it to go faster, you can go over to the WordPress page here, the settings page and just force the sync and then it'll happen more quickly. Um, otherwise you may just wanna wait a few minutes and then check your website and um, it should show up as I showed you. Now, if you're not seeing it the way I was describing it, um, you can just make sure you've got the latest plugin and do a full sync on your site. And if you're still having trouble, you can always reach out to us and, and we can walk you through it or check um, what you may have uh, done wrong. So hopefully that's helpful. Thanks guys.